not entirely sure what I'm going to do today, but I wanted to play with some makeup, so I figured I might as well record it. Um, the best way to learn how to do what you're doing is to practice, practice, practice. So what better way to practice than filming it, putting it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I think that I still want to learn more ways to manipulate the anniversary palette, um, the limited edition anniversary palette. So, so far, each time I've done it, I've used some sort of splurge cream shadow underneath it, because everybody talks about how dark and how black and how dark the palette is without having a splurge cream shadow underneath it. So I'm gonna try it without a splurge cream shadow underneath it just so I can see how dark or not dark it actually is. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start, I don't wanna blind you with that mirror. I'm gonna start with beaming, this one right here, this lightest one. Um, I'm gonna do that, you know what? First, no, first I'm gonna put some eye primer on. That's what we're gonna do first. So it's just um, Unique Mood Struck Eye Primer. It's just an eyeshadow primer. And you just need the tiniest little amount. Like that right there will work for both eyes. Okay, so now like I said, we're gonna start with beaming. We're gonna start with the lightest one. And I'm gonna bring that all the way out to my brow. Because at the very end of this look, I am going to want to have a highlight right here underneath my brow bone. And if this palette is going to prove to be as dark as it has so far, I know it's gonna be extremely difficult to put that highlight up here once I have all that dark shadow on top of my lid. <coughs> I think I'm gonna take Devout, this kind of silvery one. No, you just put your brush over there. I did, I did beaming first, and now I'm gonna do a silver one. And we're gonna bring this just above the crease. It's so bright. It is very bright, isn't it? Still want to try dazzling. I still want to get this teal color to come out. I just see. I just see um, devout. I just see the the, the silver one. Let's see if we take our rose water and a cream brush and see if that will make any kind of difference. So we're still going to take Dazzling. Well, that worked a little bit better. just not as teal as I want it to be. A 
although I do like how having devout having the silver as my transition color I think that plays off with the black base a whole lot better the red base the um, unashamed transition with the teal black just didn't seem to quite work right I think that the silver I think that devout and dazzling together I think that plays off really nicely together it's still not quite as teal as I was expecting it to be but I think it plays off each other better this way than I did last week all right so now we are done with the eyeshadow now let's get this excess fallout out <clears throat> and we'll get started on our face all right we'll do some cream foundation today and um, our cream foundation does come with this little squishy sponge um, and it also comes with this little protection here so you're not going to go gouging out like if you throw it into your purse you're not going to accidentally gouge out your foundation And now we take our beauty blender and our rose water and kind of bounce out, even out that cream foundation. All right, and now let's do some eyebrows. Probably should have done that before. And with the Brow Obsession Palette, I mix the dark and the light powders together. I start in my arch and I bring it down to that point that I just created with the pencil. I'm going to go back into the anniversary palette. I'm going to go back into beaming. Kind of brighten up the center. All right, now. I don't think I want to do a full on highlight and contour I think I'm going to just do like a bronzer dusting over everything so we're gonna take our beachfront bronzer in Hermosa now the beachfront bronzer does come with a matte and a shimmer 
I personally just mix it together. Kind of dulls out the shimmer a little bit, but brightens up the matte a little bit. You can do this however you want. Now, with a bronzer, the whole point of a bronzer is to give your face that sun-kissed glow. So you do want to try to get your bronzer about one shade darker than your skin tone. I'm going to take a little bit of blush. We're going to go in with supported. Just tap it. Tap off the excess and a light dusting. Swirl it, tap it, light little dusting. All right, and now for a little highlight, this is iridescent. And um, as with the bronzer giving your face that sun kissed glow, when you do a highlighter, when you do illuminator, you want to do it on the areas that the sun would kiss. So the tops of the cheeks, the tops of your eyebrows, your nose, your cupid's bow, and your chin. Now I'm just going to take a quick little dust and kind of blend everything in. We do have a very, very dark eye. I don't really want to quite go nude though. But... All right, I'm gonna do Loaded in the Opulence lipsticks. It's a very pretty pinky mauve. What did we do? We did the Addiction Palette and we did Beaming, Devout, and Dazzling. So for me to only use three colors out of a palette, wow. But look at this. I think it actually turned out pretty well. So we have Beaming up here on top. We have Devout in the crease and then we have Dazzling all over the lid. Again, it's not quite as teal as I was expecting it to be especially considering that we use the rose water instead of just doing it by itself but it still looks great I think um, it's not quite as teal and as I'm expecting it to be but I do like it a lot better with devout in the crease rather than unashamed because when <coughs> Because when we did Unashamed in the crease, when we did that red in the crease, it just didn't quite mesh right with the teal glitter. Now that we used Devout and the teal glitter, it works together better, I think, than when we did the Unashamed. Anyway, that's what we came up with. I mean, pretty simple, pretty laid back, pretty dark. But you know me, I like the dark eyeshadows. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. Have a great evening. Bye.